Hi one, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the people who are leading protest against William Samoy Ruto, those who are coming openly in a press uh, conference or briefing to talk against Ruto, is his own people from Rift Valley. Karenjins are leading protest against Ruto. What they anticipated from Ruto is totally opposite. And these people are pissed off with this leadership of William Samuel Ruto. Yesterday I shared a video where the youth Kalenjin <laughs> were out complaining and warning William Samuel Ruto very serious. Today there is also Amamamboka who is coming from Rift Valley. And now she is complaining and warning William Samoy Ruto about the cost of living. This is Mamamboka, who was among women that were, that were very happy that Ruto has good intention with the Mamambogas of this country. But what is he saying? Remember, they are talking about the next election. You are just one year in office, but people are talking about next election. And what is he asking? That Kura in Akuja. Sijui tutakuwa tunaongea nini. Kwa sababu sasa hawamwamini. She is clear that they no longer trust William Samai Ruto. And now that the next election is coming, they don't know what they will be talking about. William Samai Ruto. Mtu akikwambia hivyo sijui utakuwa unangoja nini. What the woman or the lady or mamboga is saying here is that they don't have an interest in listening to Ruto or voting for William Samoy Ruto in the next election. And he's talking about the cost of transportation of Mboga or vegetable from the point of where they're going to the land or to the main distributor, then they come and put in their vibanda. For now, final sale. And she's very clear that they don't make any profit. 20 kg suck of vegetable. They are being charged 500. That's why they have been charged before with just 200 or 100. Uh, transportation and you are in the market. Right now, 500. So when they end up selling, they make no any profit. Who is benefiting? Mamamboga is realizing that the person they are working for that is maximizing profit, it is the man who promised to save them. And here is a message from a Kalenjian lady who is a Mamamboga talking to William Samuel Ruto. Mimi ni Mamamboga nafanya biashara marga. Naomba serikali, naomba president wetu William Ruto. Wakati ulikuwa unasunguka kutafuta kura, ulitaja mama mboga sana. Na sasa hii mama mboga ndio anakufa kuliko hata fiti yote. Usalama hakuna baringo. Arabal wanaumia, Kiserian na Mugutani, hatuna amani. Aya manene ya mboga tukiusa haina faida kwa sababu sasa hii mafuta imepanda. Imepanda sana. Na sisi tunaenda mashamba kutafuta mboga. Tunapanda pikipiki atujanunua. Tunapanda ya watu na I, mafuta imepanda. Na ukileta mboga kama kilo 20, unalipishwa 500 ndio utoka kwa mashamba mpaka hapa. Ukikuja kuusa hakuna faida. Watoto watabaki nyumbani ama tufanye nini? Maana ni hizo ndio tunalipa nae maloni yetu tumechukua. Tunaomba President wetu William Ruto, angalia wa mama ya Marga, angalia mama mboga. Angalia mama ya chini, utusaidie. Watoto wetu watabaki nyumbani na watoto na watu ya watoto ya watu wana, wana, wanasoma. Sababu malon tumechukua na hii mboga ndio tunalipia. Hakuna kasi ingine. Insecurity. Tunalala mstuni. Hata wengine wanajifungua kwa mstuni. Tunabeba watoto na maleso. Kama tunakimbia kutafuta usalama kwa machembelu wa huko ndani. E, maji inashuka huko juu. Inakuja inatubeba. Inatupata kwa mitaro. Tutasalia mstuni tukibeba watoto tukikuja tutafanya nini na ungitufurahisha hadi tukakupigia kura bila shida. 
kwa sababu ulipotaja mama ya mboga tukafurahi sana hata tukakupea kura tukakupitisha sasa hii sisi ndio tunaumia sana tunakuomba president wetu William Ruto utusaidie na utuangalie kwa sababu watoto yetu hata kwa shule wamekwama tuko na madeni na loan tutashikwa na kuwekwa jela kwa sababu ya hizi maloan kwa sababu mafuta imepanda na tunasikia ukisema ya kwamba mafuta itakuwa ikipanda sasa ikipanda sisi tunaendelea kuumia kwa hivyo tunaomba utakapoongelea maneno ya budget ama kusaidia angalia mama ya mboga utusaidie mwaka tano karibu ishe tuanze kupika kura tena sijui tutaongea nini juu ya kura sasa sababu hatukuamini tena president hatukuamini kwa sababu wakati ile siku ile ulitaja mama mboga lakini saa hii hatuamini mambo haya kwa hivyo William mruto utakapoongea maneno ya budget angalia mama ya mboga Now we are continuing with this panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers amasa thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and before i forget i want to thank one of our subscriber all the way from this us mr nzavali thank you so much for yesterday's surprise surprise you have really supported us in a big way and uh, the amount you sent to us is going to help us uh, to settle some bills here and there i also want to thank other people who have supported us also in the other way may good god keep on blessing you thank you so much and back to this discussion now imagine you are coming from a community where you anticipate to get the first support before you get out because our politics is tribal our tribes matter our politics is local and therefore the support base start from where you come from this is not only in kenya enda kwingine court that's how it is so you want to to start from home convincing people to get out but then then the same constraints where you need to start from they are coming out to reject you tell me where will you get this support kama nyumbani umekataliwa if your own people are rejecting you and they are talking live on camera other communities can listen to this ni nani atakwamini kwa hiyo uongozi wa mheshimiwa william ruto ni nani atamwamini kama watu wake wenyewe the people who speak same language they understand each other in their dialect they don't trust william ruto's presidency who else is going to trust ruto and his regime watakuwa wajaluo watakuwa waluya watakuwa wakikuyu watakuwa wakamba watakuwa wameru watakuwa wamejikenda watakuwa wakisii you can name we are about about 47 sub, uh, tribes who else will trust william ruto's leadership who can trust ruto with his vote protest and rejection is beginning in rift valley his own people are seeing ruto as a man who lied to them and he has mentioned several things from the cost of living fuel insecurity loans na mambo mengine yote umeenda kwa soko kununua bidhaa gharama ya kwenda uweke ya kurudi then you go and uh, display your goods and at the end of the day once you sell you find that the profit you would have made in that sale it end up going into the cost of transportation so hapo utapata mama mboga anatengeneza labda faida ya 500 wengine 200 yule anabatika 1000 na yule mwenye akona biashara kubwa basi hata paka 1300 4 but they no longer enjoy profit because the money they need to use to, to, they, they need to save as their profit is ending up paying for transport nani alipandisha gharama ya mafuta <laughs> william ruto Ulimu yangu umeshusha bei ya, ya mafuta. Lakini hapa Ruto ameweka mambo ya biashara ni government to government. 
ya mafuta so no private bidders you have to wait the government go and do business bring the steward here then you buy from them before you go and distribute the truth is that mama mboga is working for william ruto the person who is getting the profit that mama mboga would have enjoyed it is none other than the person they voted for that is the person who is enjoying so when mama mboga is complaining they should know that there is a person who is milking them dry there is a person who is earning a profit that they had intended to have you do business lakini mtu akotoa hapo kando ameweka system ambayo inamsaidia badala ya wewe kupata faida yoyote the system is helping him to get everything from you you are being told if you do any business that will uh, involve 1000 transaction as mama mboga 50 bob ni ya ruto hujanipa county na hujanipa mtu wa kufanya usafi alafu kuja kwa mafuta <laughs> yote ni ya ruto so mama mboga is coming out very bravely to tell of ruto that we no longer trust you we have huge problem you have turned against mama mboga now you are working but it's like you are taking everything from us so we are working for ruto so what mdaba decided at one point na alikuwa huko mount kenya region he said that the meaning of bottom up is just you turn the bottom up unakunywa kila kitu huko juu inabaki nothing so ruto turned the bottom the bottle in the bottom side sasa kitu imeteremka yote imeenda kwa ruto huko juu mama mboga amebaki hanging with nothing that is the reality of life that is what kenyans are going through and that's why everyone is coming out to tell of ruto the truth sasa kama watu wake wanamwambia ukweli sisi ni nani tusimwambie ukweli lazima ambie ukweli Nao mtoto wa mama mboga ako na shida ya kwenda shule. Sasa hizi walikuwa nalipa 24000. Now we are learning that they are paying 16000. And now mama, and now the mama mboga has to pay the extra amount in school and to add on that because of the cost of living they have to add another 5000. It can turn up to even 11 12 to 16000. Kwa hizo ni day school, shule ya maskini. Day school ni shule ya maskini huko ndo sasa wananipa so tell me will they afford that's what they're saying that madeni tatumaliza watashikwa watafungwa kwa sababu they had a president who acted in a kind of rogue way who did not care and has end up injuring mama mboga and their business sasa protest is all over it is good that they said raila should keep quiet and he is doing so and because of that people will now come out to face of ruto on their own way and this is now part of the reaction we are getting mambo ya things are bad outside here